Because there's a lot of shows about superpowers on this. Yes, so you're asking us what makes our show different. Because there's a lot of shows about superpowers on there. I think what's great is that we have... It is about Henry, Maddie Hassan's character, who discovers she has the ability to teleport. But this happens while her ability is discovered while she is unfortunately assaulted by a guy in her class. And I think what's great about what we did with the show is that the teleportation, the teleportation is linked to this traumatic event. And we really delve into that and the effects of what happens to Henry as a character. And um, yeah, it evolves from there. We also have so many other supporting characters and real stories. It's a story about discovery. There's so many people discovering who they are in our show. And it's in a grounded, real environment of the small town of Ruston. But there's also a bigger, larger world of teleportation with a lot of action. We've got all kinds of things for you guys. Uh, yeah, and I would say, too, you know, a lot of superhero shows are, you know, they're heightened to begin with, and we tried to stay really grounded. And so when Henry discovers she has this power, she doesn't necessarily see it as that. She sees it as a curse. And it's something that complicates your life as it would any person. And so we kind of tackled it, tried to tackle it from that angle. Of, it's not like she's going to wake up and be like, you know what, should I go save the world? Like, maybe I should. She's not that type of person. And so she's trying to figure out a lot of what she just went through because it was linked to a traumatic event, as Sarah said. And also, like, you're a teenage girl. Like, are you going to go and be a hero? Like, maybe not. You know? Yeah. Thank you. So, Jenna and Henry become a support system for each other Absolutely. throughout the season. What's the biggest lesson that they've taught each other? Well, I think what they're learning, they're learning things from each other. There are different things in e each of their personalities that they see in each other that they wish they had, and I think that's kind of what strengthens their bond even more. As an example, I feel like something that Jenna looks up to Henry about is that she's very independent and doesn't care what other people think, and that's something that Jenna has wrestled with for a long time in her life she really has taken the time to be what other people need her to be and hasn't taken a lot of time to think about what she needs and something that I feel Henry looks to Jenna for is love and compassion and support because Henry hasn't had a lot of that in her life but also she hasn't really taken the time to bond with people as Cleo her mother played by Missy Pyle has moved her from town to town very often so I think it's about the differences that we have that we see in each other that we really want to look to each other and grow as people. It seems like um, the deputy, like she starts off. It seems like she doesn't know anything, but it seems like she's hiding something and she's got, she knows a little more than she <laughs> lets on as it goes along. Interesting, on. <laughs> interesting. She's, no, she's, she certainly comes into that town thinking there's, there's a whole lot more going on here than is on the surface. And what I loved about this character is that she has a deep sense of justice. And um, even though there's odds against her, you know, she's, she's a woman on the force, she's black, she has no friends in town. Uh, and we, and we're not, not quite sure at the beginning what she's doing that. <laughs> but it becomes very clear that it's, it's um, for her, it, it's, it, once she discovers something's off, there's a mission to get at the truth and to get at, at what's right. And, uh, and I think she kind of grows in that sense. She's not hiding anything. She's just, she's just <laughs> learning. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, if we get a season two, perhaps she's hiding something. I, it's not open. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I should ask someone else. <laughs> Is there a freedom in, in having the show on YouTube on a platform that's designed for binging like this? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, just to be streaming and to be able to have whatever content we want, to be able to tell the stories that we're telling, you couldn't tell on 90% of other networks out there. Um, there are also great partners because they, they're they not trying to make us something that we don't want to be. And I find that in other experiences that I've, I've had, it's easy to fall down that rabbit hole. Uh, we have, you know, two young women characters who support each other. They're not antagonistic towards each other. A lot of networks would say, where's the drama? <laughs> two, would two girls like each other? And, and so, you know, in their opposites, they're very different, but they're figuring each other out. Um, and they, they're not always getting along, but it's, it feels real, um, or that's the hope anyway. And so there's so much content in the sexual assault um, material that we deal with too. I think a lot of networks would say, please don't do that. That's uncomfortable to watch. That's a thing that we shouldn't talk about. And I'm so grateful that YouTube has been such good partners to say, do it. Like, do do something that is unique and different and that is something that we haven't seen on TV. So, yes. 
Does it? Oh, sorry, we have to cut. Sorry, okay. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're just getting into it. Thank you. Guys.